What's happened here? Uh, truthfully, right now at this time, we're not sure. But at 10.30 last night, we were called to this residence on a welfare check. Apparently, the female resident didn't show up for work, and her employer was not able to get a hold of her. The officers came here to check on her well-being and found her and her child deceased in the garage. Do you know, now, we've heard reports that there's been trouble here before. Can you say anything about that? No, no comment on that right now. What are you doing right now with the investigation? The uh, detectors are in the process of obtaining a search warrant and um, they do in fact now have that search warrant signed and they'll be going in to investigate further. Were there any signs of struggle with either you know, the mother or the child? No, no trauma to the bodies, no sign of any struggle. The officers discovered the bodies in a vehicle parked in the garage. The fumes uh, were overwhelming inside the garage once they were able to make an entry. The officers noted on the bodies uh, a bright cherry red color, um, which uh, we attribute at times to carbon monoxide poisoning. So we truthfully at this time have no idea what happened uh, or the cause or manner of death, but um, here within the next half hour uh, they'll be inside trying to investigate further. You told us they were a bright cherry red, but where, where were they sitting? How were they, you know, next to each other? They Describe were next to each other in the back seat of a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, in a situation like this, it would seem clear that this is uh, a suicide. W what other possibilities are there when you see a scene like this? There, there, there are a lot of different possibilities, and, and you're correct, that would be a first assumption we may make, but until we get inside and do a full investigation, we're not we're not sure and before we do any speculation we we want to have our facts together and know for sure what happened